I'm getting messages every day, vote, vote, <laughs> cast your vote. And so that made me want to come vote. I want my vote to be counted. Whether it's in person or through the mail, Americans are already casting ballots in this year's election. Tuesday was the first day for in-person voting in Georgia, a state that could decide who lands in the Oval Office. And at first I wasn't going to come because usually they say the first day of voting, even early voting, it's really, really packed. So that was kind of discouraging. But then when I pulled up, I saw a lot of people, but the lines were going so fast. The first day went smoothly and saw a record number of Georgia voters turn out to the polls, more than 300,000. That's more than double the number of ballots cast on the first day of voting in 2020. Georgia election officials are running a tight ship after former President Donald Trump and other Republicans falsely claimed there was voter fraud in the state during the last presidential election. I know in Georgia, voters can trust the outcomes. Republican or Democrat, we're going to call balls and strikes. Georgia's election board voted last month to require poll workers count paper ballots by hand on election night. But that rule was blocked in court Tuesday after a Fulton County judge ruled it's too much of an ask to enforce this close to the election. Early voting has become a lot more popular since the pandemic. One national poll finds more than half of voters are still planning to cast their ballots early this year. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.